I'm Carol Sider. Uh, my husband Martin and I own the uh, Martin Sider Farms, which makes the North Fork potato chips. Uh, this is something that we started in 2004, actually. But prior to that, my husband's grandparents actually bought the farm and started raising potatoes in Mattatuck in 1910. So we've been on the farm and in the same house for all those years. In 2005, the Railroad Museum of Long Island started a fundraising campaign called Collectible Car Club. And it gives us an opportunity to work with the Lionel Corporation. We design a toy train car. And as our people do the design work, we try to focus on a business or some historic matter of Long Island. In the 50s, 60s, and into the early 70s, we would see on Long Island cars of potato eyes, the seed potatoes that would come down from uh, the Boston and Maine potato farms, and there would be 60 and 70 car trains coming to the East End, all full of seed potatoes, and the railroad would bring that out. The growing season went through, and in the fall, the railroad would bring 110 car trains, empty cars, out to the East End to pick the produce up after it had grown and was harvested. We follow along with the cider farms and we celebrate the fact that this is such a successful uh, commodity. Our potatoes, the Long Island potato and Long Island potato chips with this car. We're, we're trying to do our own and keep it that way, keep it local as best we can. I, I think this has brought notoriety along with the North Fork products. Um, you know, it's, it's, it gives you a sense of pride when you start talking about the potato fields that were here since, you know, the turn of the century, maybe even longer. For the most part, um, this is a dying industry when it was a very popular Long Island potato. We're looking forward to having a lot of interest in this car here on the East End uh, because of our history with these potatoes and because of the great potato chips that the cider family is making.